Hi friends, welcome to the Diana Feltzone Show here in Paltalk.com. The show will start in a few minutes. I'm sure you have questions for Diana, so please raise your hand, you will get contacted, and please state then your first name and location, and you will finally get called up by Diana. Do not forget, please, that this room is G-rated. So have fun in this room and send your invites out and let your friends know. By the way, there is free video in this room. Enjoy the program. Thank you. Hi, friends. And as you can tell, I got a little bit of color, so I'm no longer a Casperish pale white, so I won't get lost in the wonderful pal talk sign in the background. <laughs> Hi, it is the Diana Fell Zone Show. We are here every Thursday at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. So no matter where you are in the world, you can find us. We can chat because, as you all know, all the pal talk loyal is that we are very interactive. We want to hear from each other. We want to learn from each other. The way we do that is really simple. We have carrier pigeons and foghorns. Oh, I'm just kidding, just kidding. We have something that's so great. You can raise your pal talk hand. You can then be put on mic, patched through to me, through Alan, our screener, and we can have a conversation. But if you don't have a mic and you don't have access to that, don't fret my pets, really, it's okay. You can simply, simply type in your message to Alan, and Alan will make sure to get it to me. So with all that being said, I am very excited to jump into our conversation with one another. Now, I talked about this yesterday on my Cosmo show on SiriusXM, and it's purely for women. So what was so interesting is that women have a very big problem with and I know this is a G-rated room, but I figure since pop culture has embraced the idea of strip clubs, that it's okay to talk about it here in a G-rated room. Now, when I mention strip clubs, it evokes a lot of fear in women, a lot of worry, a lot of concern. For some men, it can evoke feelings of maybe uncomfortable, maybe stress, or for some others, a good time. But what I found really interesting is that Rihanna was allegedly caught, and this is the interesting thing, allegedly is the key word, was allegedly caught going to a strip club with her new boyfriend. Now, a lot of people think, cool, you know, that's great. She went to the strip club with her boyfriend. She must be a really confident girl. Other women, on the other hand, feel, why would she do that? Why would she advocate going to a strip club? And I wanted to pose this question to you all out there because I found this topic to be rather controversial and to have so many people up in arms about it, I needed to talk to my pal talk friends. And what I'm going to ask is simple and definitely needs a response from you guys out there. The question is, would you, as, as a woman out there, this is for a woman's perspective, as a woman, would you go to a strip club with your man? That is the question for women. Now on the flip side, for the men out there, would you be comfortable if your lady went to a male strip club? All very important things that I think honestly do need to be answered because a lot of people feel like strip clubs are Pandora's box. 
a lot of women feel like why should men have the right to you know go out there and get their kicks from someone else if they're in a committed relationship I say if you're single anything goes I still think strip clubs are a little pervy but if you're single you're not offending anybody you're living your life you're doing it solo and nobody has a right to comment on it however if you are in a relationship I feel like it's disrespectful to go to an exotic dancer and to go have her put you know her goodies in your face I don't feel comfortable with that and if I had a boyfriend who wanted to go to a strip club, I don't think I'd be so accommodating or understanding. I certainly would not be advocating for him to go to one. And I'm just interested on your opinions out there. Hi, Jim from Michigan. How are you, Jim? Well, I'm doing pretty good. I'll go directly to your comments about strip clubs. Okay. <clears throat> First of all, I've been married now for 35 years, which they really have no appeal to me. Even okay. when I was single, if I wanted to date a young lady, I'm not going to take her to a strip club if our relationships develops into where we want to communicate with each other on a sexual manner. Her body to view would be enough for me. And right. the same location on the other flip side of that, rather than have her go to see male strippers, I should be enough for her. That's where I stand. You know, Jim, I have to agree with you. I condone everything you're saying because... For some reason, and I'm, I'm not putting down the female gender here, but and I'm not also putting down the male gender, but for some reason society says that men don't need to grow up and that men are allowed to have other ways of getting their kicks and getting stressed, you know, being distressed. For women, we're expected to be responsible. We're expected to be mature at an earlier age, and we're not expected to go, you know, to strip clubs and have crazy wild girls' nights. But for some reason, society says. Oh, it's fine. If a guy does that, it's not cheating. If a guy does it, he's simply having a good time. He's having a guy's night. And I feel like it's an excuse. It's like guys suffer from Peter Pan syndrome. And Peter Pan syndrome, as we all know, is a boy who doesn't want to grow up. I don't want to date the guy who doesn't want to grow up. And I feel like going to a strip club is, is honestly for the most saintly man in the world. And, and this is the best analogy I can think of. If you are... A woman or a man who is on a diet and you constantly have chocolate cake being presented to you at every meal and every time the chocolate cake comes right it's right here you have been on a diet for a couple weeks chocolate cake it's placed right in front of you and you smell it and you think wow I just love to eat that chocolate cake but I'm on a diet so I can't I can't eat the chocolate cake I'm just gonna push the chocolate cake away and for that day, you're good. Then the next day, chocolate cake, right in front of you, gets placed down. Oh, it smells so good, I want to eat the chocolate cake, but I can't because I'm on a diet. Next day, same thing happens. And then guess what? One day, you eat the chocolate cake, maybe just a bite, but still, you broke your dieting rules. You inhaled those calories and the extra fat that you didn't want to have. Same thing as at strip clubs. If you constantly have a sexy woman in your face shaking what the mama gave her 